We're still here at the Weeping Boar Bean, and most of the birds seem to have moved off, but there's still a lot of squirrels feeding on all of these flowers. What's really nice to see is that the squirrels seem to be quite gentle. Often I've noticed squirrels being quite aggressive and they literally just destroy a whole flower head to get to the to what they want. And these ones seem to be quite gentle. They, they don't seem to be destroying them. They're just sort of licking inside, maybe just nibbling here and there. It's probably quite good for the for the plant. It's a lot of pollination happening as they move from flower to flower. I'm sure pollen is getting caught on their fur and whiskers. And as they move to a different one, they are pollinating the weeping boar bean which is great, and then it will grow some small fruits, and they have little nuts or seeds in them, which can apparently be ground up and roasted, or roasted and ground, and make a little bit of a coffee substitute. I don't know if I've tried it before, I think I might have tried it before, but as far as I can remember, I've either heard, so it's not particularly great. I suppose you have to be very desperate if you want to have weeping boar bean coffee. Maybe Steve's tried it before, I'm not sure. Seems the, the kind, kind of chap that probably would have tried a lot of things. Look at this amazing squirrels! Look at their, look at their hands. You can see um, how dexterous their fingers are. So squirrels are just like, well, they are rodents. They're in the rodent family, and they're very, very good and agile and dexterous with their with their forelimbs. And so they can actually hold things in their hands, unlike many other animals, to manipulate them and, and get to them. Super great. They've got big eyes and you know, relatively big ears for their body size, and so they're always listening and looking out for danger. They're very vulnerable, as you know. Uh, <laughs> the squirrel is definitely in heaven. Luckily, he's eating these things now and not in a week or two's time when they start fermenting. Because although elephants don't get drunk off marulas, I'm sure a squirrel is very small. If it ate a whole bunch of these flowers with some fermenting nectar, things could get pretty interesting. It doesn't even know where to look. Look, it, it literally eats one thing, then rushes quickly off to the next one. It's like a kid in a candy store. I've got a sweet tooth as well. I know exactly what he's, what he's feeling like right now. Anna Marie, the wind is blowing towards us right now, and I feel like I do get a little bit of a nice fragrance. Although, I would have to actually go and pick one of these little blooms that has dropped into the ground to smell it up close. Um, I would like to actually even try and eat one to know what it tastes like because, I mean, it's full of nectar. I mean, it drips nectar all over the floor underneath the tree. If I go and sit underneath that tree for an hour, I might find myself having a bit of sticky skin. I'm sure they do smell quite nice, otherwise it wouldn't attract uh, so many insects, although it might be quite a subtle smell. Is the wind blowing towards us right now, Odie? I think it is blowing quite towards us, and I feel like I can get a good fragrance. However, there are also lots of bo um, and knob thorns that are flowering all around this area, and they definitely do have a nice fragrance. So I guess I'll find out in a moment. I'll go over there and grab a, a flower to see if I can smell it and taste it. Lots of birds around now as well. 